my daughter steals all my makeup brushes, all my makeup sponges, and these days all my makeup. But at least she has good taste. Hi Vogue, I'm Karen Elson, and watch me as I do my go-to copper eyeshadow look. Being a blazing redhead, copper always looks really striking. It's what I wore for the last Met Ball I went to. I had a beautiful copper look. I'm gonna start by putting on an eye mask. I hope I'm putting these on the right way. <laughs> for a little extra boost, I'm gonna use this vibrating face roller. <laughs> It gets the product absorbed better into your skin and gives you a little extra sort of zing. Alrighty. Definitely gotta use a quality face cream. I like to add face oil. The queen of mixing things. And back to using this again. I am obsessed with this thing. Now I'm going to use some foundation under my eyes first. Now I'm using my trusted sponge. Just makes it all go on better. So I'm gonna start off first with lining my lid just very gently with a copper liner. And it's gonna look messy at first. That's the thing. Then rub it in with your fingers. Pat McGrath taught me she always applies makeup with her hands and it just feels like a really lovely way to do makeup. It's like your face is your palette, basically. I've got every shade of copper known to man. This is the first color I'm gonna use, sort of a terracotta, bringing out the trusted blending brush. I'm obsessed with this thing. Just helps kind of soften everything. Next, another layer of copper. Now it's a bit more of a deeper shade, a bit more sparkly. Oh, I love this so much. Blending brush. When you're doing a makeup like this, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna have makeup everywhere. I am just, you know, a believer of just always having a sponge or a blending brush and just kind of, you know, get some foundation and cover up your mistakes as you go along the way. Now I'm gonna use a darker shade. It's almost like a copper red. It probably looks like I have two big sort of half moons around my eyes. The first thing that I'm trying to do is just establish the color. And now I'm gonna use my sponge again just to really kind of settle it in there. And then I'll go back in for sort of final touches on my eyes later on. Alrighty, here we go. I don't have many eyebrows. <laughs> I'd have to sort of use a, like a gel. And I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil. The idea is just to kind of create a nice arch. It's almost like playing dot to dot where you just connect the dots and fill in underneath. I start here and there and then at the end and then brush it all in so it doesn't look too fake. Even if you're doing a big makeup, it's still got to look lived in. Next up, I'm going to um, line my eyes with sort of a coppery red. Make it pop. Mm. And I love to really get in there. And almost like my favorite makeup is um, makeup that you sleep in. <laughs> a makeup look that is really done, but it almost looks like you took a nap on it. Like somehow it always looks better. I'm using this brush because I'm just gonna get a bunch of copper shades, mix them all together, and just really, really work it into my uh, eyes right now. I'm going to use this amazing opal. How lovely that is. At the top, oh, I love this. And a smaller brush, get it on the inside. So I've been a model for a really long time and I've had every kind of makeup look. But there was one time, at a backstage at a show where a makeup artist had given me this magnificent glittery eye look. The makeup artist said, don't move, we have to take the glitter off because we're using industrial carpet glitter, <laughs> which was glass. I mean, the look was beautiful, don't get me wrong. It was a really nice look, but and speaking of, I'm adding some not um, glass glitter, but actual lovely glitter to my face, safe kind my eyes. All right, now we're gonna move on to eyelash curling. I never let a makeup artist curl my lashes anymore because I've had my lashes chopped off by these things more times than I can count. Sorry, I always have to check and make sure that my 
eyelashes on. <laughs> And this look definitely needs a lot of mascara. There's no such thing as too much. And I do top and bottom. I'm going to use this stuff. It's a bronzer, but you can use it all over your face. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little like shade just onto my cheeks, give it a little contour, blending brush so you don't have that sort of line of shade. And with the other side of the brush, I'm going to use the highlighter. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my lip color. And for that, especially for this look, I'm going to blend a lot of different lipsticks. Hold on, how many lipsticks do I have here? Kind of orangey red here. This one, which is very, very orange. This, which is more kind of blue red. I like to find my own custom blend and it gets such a perfect shade. I apply it over and over again, like the constant sort of pressing in of the color, just again, how it feels like lived in and not um, too, too much like makeup. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is add a bit more highlighter to my Cupid's bow and this lovely opal shade again, just to get inside here. Oh, it's so lovely. Now I have to set it with powder, wherever my powder may be. <sighs> and I never like to use too much powder because um, it just makes your face look cakey, but a little for this look definitely helps. So this is my lovely, warm, coppery, festive signature look. I love it. I love it so much. Hi Vogue, I'm Karen Elson. To watch more videos, subscribe here.